Hey guys, Nukem here and welcome to Netflix Terminator Zero. I'm actually excited about this because uh, if you were to tell me, hey, there's a new Terminator movie coming out, a, a live action one, I'd be like, oh, okay, another one. Because people usually think the first two Terminator is good. And so many directors say, oh yeah, this takes place after Terminator 2, since people love the first two. And all the ones after two just have been very mediocre or plain right bad. And I got excited because maybe an animation style is the way to go with the Terminator franchise and bring back life to the franchise. And the fact that I think this takes place before Terminator 2 Judgment Day gives you a lot in depth stuff. What happened to Reese and Sarah Connor before um, the T-1000 or the T-800 comes into Terminator 2. So I'm excited to go with this. I am gonna listen to this in Japanese and read it in English subtitles. So if you hear me reading out loud a little bit, I apologize, but hey, you guys wanna see my full reaction? Feel free to join the membership below. It just it supports me and it's just a little small uh, way to support your creators, okay? Appreciate the subscribe, notification bell, and let's get going. 2022. Well, that happened a couple years ago. Target. Oh, grenade. All right, that didn't go off in time. Oh, shoot the grenade! There you go. Dude, run, man! Oh! Dude! Alright, you gotta jump now, man. <laughs> this shoots over the rail. Okay, now he's out of ammo. Oh, she put a C4 there. Oh my gosh, it just jumped right after her. Dude, I feel like her body half should be ripped off in half because of how heavy the Terminator is, right? An uploading a virus? Oh. Oh no. Stick it back in. Oh, it rebooted quickly! Oh, the rope! Oh, shoelace, shoelace! Oh. Now, is that one string gonna be able to hold her? That's a cool new device that we haven't seen before in Terminator, right? Where, um, you can just cause it to reboot? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, the nukes went off. Okay, it was a nightmare. Okay, back in the 90s. Really? Oh, this guy's a computer whiz. Yeah, knowledge is power. Yeah, knowledge is power. Is he probably with the resistance to stop judgment day? <laughs> that PlayStation 1 up there. A robot? Oh, robot worker. Oh, she's really tall. Hmm. She got the Tesla robot, right? Dude, he's gonna get disassembled. Alright, they need him. I think she's a nanny for his kids, right? I think their kid, their mom has passed away. Is she the girl in the future? That fought the robot in the beginning? Oh, robot cat. Strip it for parts? Yeah, can't trust robots, man. Yeah. He knows about judgment day. <laughs> oh no. They're gonna take an open box? Okay. Oh. It's a cat? Oh, the mom loved the cat? 
Yeah, look at that. Robot is walking uh, older folks. They're integrated. <laughs> oh, it's full. Even robots are shoving people in. They even walk the dogs too, man. Oh no! The dog's okay, right? But it caused an accident? Yep, yeah, human died to dodge the dog. Does he work at Skynet? Yeah, there we go. Reference to uh second movie when they had to turn the key at the same time. That's today. That's cool they released it the same day as the actual show coming out on Netflix. Has significant dates. Oh, oh. Judgment. Yep. Yeah. Can't change the past or future? Shinpaneの道は幾度となく踏みかためられてき。私の存在理由。我々の前には定められた道などない。そう信じている。人類にはまだただ我々を救う力がある。you can trust an AI to stop an AI? Oh. We're gonna use a computer to stop a computer. Well, I guess that works because that's how they reprogrammed the T-800 to protect uh, John Connor and Sarah Connor in the second movie. Oh, we got a sniper. Alright, back to future. No. この5日間で5箇所の抵抗軍基地が機械たちに蹂躙さ、スカイネットの企みをついに暴くことができ。Okay, that so she was also gathering information and uploading via the same time. そのしを決して無駄にはしないと。よし、スカイネットのデータに接続したぞ。まさか Temporal target? Okay, are they gonna try to uh, do the Kyle Reese thing again? Oh, he broke through the outpost. Oh, put on disguise, huh? Well, the red eye gives it away. Oh, we'll be building this time. We have all the T-800s. Is this where they get their skin? Yep. Target elimination set complete. Okay. Jeez, they're just gonna... Okay, this is the one going back in time then. Okay, Tokyo. All right, first episode. All right, guys, so that first episode, I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, so I like the beginning where it shows you the future and how she was able to get the data. Not only we learned that you can um, upload a data into the Terminator uh, where you get to reboot, but also you can also gather data. So it's a download and upload. So that's how they got information what Skynet's doing. Apparently Skynet is sending another Terminator uh, into Tokyo and to try to have it going at the same time. And the scientist, um, Malcolm, is trying to stop it from happening. So yeah, it's like we're going to use a computer to try to stop a computer, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Of course, I think Judgment Day is going to happen because... Um, the second movie took place so apparently one way or another I think a um, lot of stuff is going to happen between there but uh, we already know the main outcome but the journey is fun uh, the the girl who is the caretaker for the three kids um, 
we don't know her story yet. I feel like she's going to be very involved taking care of the kids and uh, slowly grow that girl into the main girl in the future in 2022, uh, the one that was fighting the Terminator. Um, but you can see that how robot is starting to integrate in 1997 where, you know, you have robots helping out people in the store, stocking shelves. Of course, they're still a little bit behind technology, helping people carry umbrella through the rain, the older people and walking a dog. But you can see the downside having a machine try to fulfill human activities where, you know, cause a car crash and a human died and the robot didn't even care or try to get help for the human. Just continue to do what it's programmed to do is try to find that dog, right? But I feel like the son of Malcolm is going to be a big part because he's like an engineer trying to find parts, trying to build things, trying to figure things out. We don't know what's going on with their mom and family dynamic. But overall, it's a very interesting first episode. Like I said, I think animation is the way to go with the Terminator series where you can make a good compelling story and uh, tell something that is harder to capture in live action that so many movie directors and writers have tried several times and failed. I think this is the right format. I love how they stick it to the rated R format where it definitely feels like Terminator with all that gruesomeness. So with that being said, if you guys want to see my full reaction, feel free to join the membership below. It supports me. Appreciate the subscribe. Hit that notification bell for the next episode and I'll see you guys next time. Okay.